So I get asked a lot, within Cincinnati, where is a great place for me to go and find some smallmouth or just some rock bass or something, just some easy fishing to do that's not too challenging. And uh, one of the places that I started fishing, learning to fish, for bass anyway, is Sycamore Park down here in Batavia. So we're gonna explore this little loop of an area and show you that we can catch some good fish. Now the way I like to kind of fish this park is I like to walk all the way to the back of the park and then fish my way back to the car, especially if it's about to be sunset, which it about is. And uh, I find uh, the parking lot area is uh, pretty high pressure. There's a lot of, there's probably about 30 kids in the river right there doing a little exploration uh, event, trying to catch little bugs and critters out of the, out of the uh, river, some little camp thing. But uh, if you go to the back of the park and fish your way up, I think this, is the optimum way to fish Sycamore Park. Let's go. There we go. First bite of the day. What do we got? It is a rock bass. And we are throwing the little Pond Magic Spinner from Booyah. Just a small little finesse spinner. Something they can chase. Here we go. One on the board. Let's see. Always check by these little roots. These little root pockets tend to sometimes have some fish that hold up. Just like we got one there. And that, my friends, is our first smallie. Smallie love those little root wads. Little guy. Fat belly though. Yeah, those little those little indentations by by uh, little tree root systems are always really good because some of the smaller fish like to go and hide from predator predator fish like a smallmouth, and so sometimes you can coax a, a smallie to come out and get your lure, like we did there. Now, if you walk to the very very back of the park area where that gravel trail is, you will eventually come to where the river does a little split. And uh, you can go left, you can go right. Both areas are great. If you go left, it will actually loop back around and take you back to the beginning of the park. That's a great way. But we are gonna go up towards this bridge over here that crosses 222, and we're gonna fish that area. Well, we finally got a little bit of rain the last couple days, and I can see that, that algae that's just been sitting on top of the water, finally starting to get washed away. Cause man, that algae was absolutely building up. It was, it was tough to, f <laughs> to fish in that sludge there we go he followed it all the way back from that log mr rock bass there we go I pulled him off that log way back there and he just followed it so the fish are definitely hitting the spinner, um, but it's these little finicky bites. And so I think, I think what we need to do is scale down the presentation just a little bit and give them something to really sink their teeth into. And I've got the perfect thing for that. It is the pile diver, little Bobby Garland pile diver. I think this is going to be the ticket. Let's find out. All right, let's see. Before I even stand up from the log, let's see if this thing is... Let's see if this is the thing. I got a feeling that I'll get snagged on my first cast. I get that's the feeling I got. And I'll probably blow up the spot. And that's amazing. Great. Oh, that's perfect. Break off. Yeah, that's what I love. If it ever occurs to you that I sound like I know what I'm doing or some sort of professional, it's all editing magic. Let's try that again. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. There we go. I was looking down to see what was biting my leg. And something was biting my line. A little rocky. New bait. Pile diver. I knew that would make a difference real quick. 
All right, I've got a little bit of a hunch. A little bit of a hunch, right? And it seems completely opposite of what I should do. The fish are being weird. And so when they're acting weird, you just got you got to you got to put this on. You got to put it on. That's right, baby. We got to go with the crazy shed. Got to go with the crazy shed top water. There it is. Came up and got it. Well, wow, look how we caught him. He swiped at it all right. Pierced him right in the forehead. <laughs> Feisty little rock bass. And I've had quite a few people uh, tell me, at least within the Cincinnati area, that um, they have trouble finding rock bass. And uh, I don't know if it's just this river system, but the East Fork Little Miami has tons of rock bass. So if you're looking for a good rock bass bite, if you're trying to do like a rock bass catch and cook, which by the way, I really wanna do, um, come out to the East Fork Little Miami and specifically come out to Sycamore Park. Not only that, it's a great park. They just remodeled it. They put a lot of money and effort into uh, kind of revitalizing this park. They've uh, upgraded the trails, the bathrooms, the shelters, um, the signage, just the interactive stuff you can do with kids out here. Um, great place to come. Great place to bring your kids too. If you're looking for like the, that first fish bite, this is a great place to come. Or if you're looking to do like maybe your first wade, this is a very easy, non-challenging, wadeable stretch of the river. And I would highly suggest you get your practice in for like wading here. That's where I learned to wade on my very own. This is the first place I ever decided to get my feet wet and actually do that style of fishing. So. Uh, great place to come. I can't say enough about it. I mean, we only were out here an hour and we caught a handful of fish nice and fun on a few different types of lures. So great place to come guys. Thanks for watching, especially all my Cincinnati folks. If you're watching this and you're not already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button and see all my other awesome adventures. And I'll see you guys on the next fishing mission.